And let's see what they have today. get everywhere. shoving all of that in my car anymore. the blessing box lady to come over and pick all this up. Let me just make sure there's nothing behind this bag. I don't think so. I think we got it all. from Ulta being over here. I think 
That's it, guys. Let's check out the next spot. whatever else for whoever else wants it but we'll take this this is pretty hey guys yes I came out at nighttime and just found this uh, handle in front of my car light just found this brand new harness look at this little sloth how cute and then I don't know what this is reducing shampoo for kitty cats how awesome is that yeah, I'm gonna go check out a couple more spots. There's the box. <laughs> this is it. 
Anything good here? It's not cool. It's all busted out. stuff here. Some brownie mix. Get off me. All right, let's see what they have for us today. Check that out. Super cool. We have a little, not a little, but we have a snowstorm coming in. Oh, that looks like about it, you guys. Someone will get some use out of that. This looks really messy. Yikes. Okay, that's not real. wet. 
looks pretty gross. to film this but look what I found this hole I'm gonna flip it the other way there we go found this whole dog kennel in the pet smart hey guys how's everybody doing today it is Saturday and do you guys know what tomorrow is tomorrow is our live auction which will be Sunday, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, make sure you have your notification bells on, you're subscribed, and set your alarms because um, we are going to have tons of boxes of amazing new stuff. And wanted your guys' opinion. Um, I found this huge, gigantic bag of these tops. They're little active wear tank tops from Old Navy. Um, this isn't even all of it. Let me just put the bag here so you can see. Look at this bag. It is filled. Um, so really cute. I was kind of thrown off on the size because this extra large 1416 looked more like a junior size. But then when I came down to the size 5, um, this, let me put it here, the size 5 is very small. So... I don't know if this is like junior active wear or kids because it says extra small five. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, the extra large, like 14, 16, like I could wear that. Um, and it's nice and it's like not tight fitted, um, but it's a really cute design. So here's what they did. All they did was snip the sleeve there. That's it. So that can easily be sewn and fixed. Um, they didn't do any damage on the front or back. So every shirt, they just snipped um, the little shoulder uh, strap. So wanted your guys' opinion. I am thinking, of course, Mr. Inspector. <laughs> um, so whoever wins the boxes at the live auction, I was thinking uh, of throwing in one of every color in the live auction box um, so if you get it and you can I mean this could be hand sewn or you can use your sewing machine and nice it's just that little strap um, so let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think that's okay um, I would if I had the time I would sew them but I just don't um, so I'm gonna if whoever wins the auction box if you guys want me to put one of each color in your box then I will do that because this doesn't this isn't going to take up much room so I can shove those I can shove those in the box and then that way it helps me get rid of it and I'm not left with all of these tank tops so yeah if you um, haven't been to one of my live auctions um, we auction off boxes it'll be a large priority box that way it can be any weight and it's a flat $21 uh, shipping and um, we put bath and body works candles and body sprays and so much stuff and there's going to be coffee um, there's going to be a lot of Easter stuff uh, this Sunday in the boxes and um, your guys will get one of each of these tank tops. So that's a pretty cool deal, especially that these are $8 each, except for this one I actually saw was $14.99. So I wasn't sure why that one was so expensive, but close to $50 just in tank tops that I will throw in your live auction box. So you definitely don't want to miss Sunday. All right. So you see that I grabbed this. Um, the cage was actually in a plastic bag, which I obviously took that and it's showing that this was $42.49 um, and I, I sell these um, the last so many that I found uh, sold um, and I love that I'm meeting these other people that love hamsters because um, my daughter loved her hamster Momo 
and I love uh, telling these people that it is really um, better to Winnie come here buddy come here come here I'm right here you're sitting there just crying um just explaining to people that it's better to like connect cages to make them bigger because it's not good just to have the hamster in just one cage alone so with that um, I had two hamster cages available and the guy bought both of them and that made me happy to know that uh, You know the little hamster would have lots of room to run around um, And then scored this one this cute little sloth And this this is all brand new this harness still has the tags on it um, I'm sure this will end up in one of our live auction boxes um, some cat shampoo some um, Pellegrino and I did check and the seal was still still sealed there and this was from world market these things um, so we have the dark chocolate brownie mix and I've been fine getting some nice um, well you, if you guys know world market you know they just have such cool stuff but uh, this was super fun um, finding all these different baking things and um, funny was that I found one of these at Bed Bath & Beyond and the other one from somewhere else. Maybe it might have been a different Bed Bath & Beyond, but it's funny because they're very similar. This one's glass, this one's plastic, but this came off and it's plastic, so um, I'm sure that I can fix that. It's really cute. I'm gonna, I like to find these. I like to get a set of these. They're pretty nice. Um, then I scored some candles. This one was from Bed Bath & Beyond. And this one, and it's the uh, Woodwick, and it is whipped matcha, and it smells really, really good. Then um, these little guys from Five Below, the screen protector, this uh, rainbow wireless speaker, and these uh, wireless earbuds. I'm going to check them out, make sure everything works, and if so, I'm sure they'll end up in our boxes as well. Um, and then we have this guy and, um, yeah, this one looked totally fine. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, and I sell these really quick too, um, for the fish tank. So I'm sure I'll find someone that will use that. Right, so here is the rest of everything. Um, I don't have a clip for, uh, this item, but I found this one day at PetSmart. It's just the runabout ball, 13 inches. Um, and then I found the Sonic Egg um, Bark Control. And so we gave it a try. Um, so it senses, well, here's the bark. And then, well, we tried it because Winston is my yapper. And the only problem is that when he is with me and he hears my daughter in the kitchen or whatever, he will just bark. doesn't matter. He just keeps barking and barking. Even though he knows it's her, he can see her. <laughs> um, so we just gave it a try and he did not like this at all. Did he stop barking? He sure did. Um, he sure did stop barking, but you can tell that he was so agitated. And there's like different levels and we had it on the low level um, but I'll tell you uh, this thing does work but we took the batteries out and um, he's back to barking because we didn't leave it on um, but I could just tell that it really upset him so we so we just shut it off um, I guess I'll have to look more into it and see how irritating it can be but because he's such a small dog I felt really bad <laughs> so I'm like all right let's not do it all right um I found this at uh Bed Bath & Beyond it's really nice um looked like it was on sale for 10 bucks and found this Woodwick candle and there's nothing wrong with it it's not broke um so yeah um if I don't end up keeping it then you'll probably see it in one of the future boxes found this as you've seen um, the only part that was this little thing but that was nothing uh, all the glass panels everything was intact so that was really nice um, a couple things here from five below um, this little 
mini collectible skateboards. Um, this sports bra look like maybe something there we can wash off and a mask and this was pretty fun this LED toilet paper holder um, so I told my daughter we'll, we'll have to see if that works is that be that'd be kind of cool she'd like that um, coffee bean and peppermint vanilla candle um, so it looks like the wick I think it was in the bottom of the candle when I dumped it out, but I'll double check that. This right here, a charging port adapter. And that was in there. And then I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. They just threw these in the thing. They, they didn't break, which was nice. But look how pretty. And the hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. So yeah, those two uh, pretty little flower arrangements. Um, got this at World Market one day. can't believe that was $8. This little tin of the, the little shortbread cookies. Um, and then you guys seen, <laughs> look at how many Snickers bars. Um, there were some of the Three Musketeers. And there was a Milky Way. So that was pretty fun. So I'll probably be throwing these in the boxes, live auction boxes too, just, just to get rid of them. Um, but yeah, so not a bad week of stuff. And I am looking at doing a premiere video um, next week. So stay tuned and look out for that where I will be um, in the live chat talking with you guys as I post a new video next week. And don't forget, tomorrow, 7 p.m., live auction you don't want to miss it because you might miss a box of amazing amazing stuff and i fill these boxes with a lot of things so definitely you don't want to miss it all right guys well thank you for stopping by and uh, checking out my channel if you are new hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos and um, i will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m have a great rest of your weekend